Even the teenagers who like to use the playground where I take my children to play have a nickname for me. They call me that white guy who's being a dick. <laughs> now, personally, I think it's unnecessary for them to bring race into it. Uh, and irrelevant, actually, given, given that they're white too. Um, <laughs> and dicks. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the whole thing smacks of hypocrisy. Uh, all, all that happened was I merely asked them, I merely asked them to consider the consequences of their actions. Because what they were doing, these youths, these teenagers, they were hurling basketballs a distance of about 20 feet at a climbing frame that had toddlers playing on it. Right. Now, now, you can call me a party pooper, Margate. You can call me a killjoy. You can call me the unacceptable face of health and safety culture. But... <laughs> Personally, I happen to think that hurling basketballs a distance of 20 feet at a climbing frame with toddlers playing on it is... It's not on, Margaret. I, I cannot put it any more staunchly <laughs> than that. It is not on. One of the many things I have learned as a parent, you simply cannot get away with hurling basketballs that sort of distance at children that are not your own. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could have forgiven them if they were sharpening one of those skills that is essential to the overall craft of basketball, but I'm, I'm yet to see a single match in the NBA where the scores have been tied and then the result settled with a sudden-death infant smackdown. <laughs> um, in fact, I'm yet to see a single match in the NBA full stop. Um, not even an ambition. But, but what these youths were doing, it was, it was wicked, it was bad. I don't know what the hell I'm dressing it up for you, Margate. It was naughtiness, plain and simple, actual proper naughtiness. And as this naughtiness was going on right next to a sign that specifically stated, no ball games allowed, their behaviour, I had to tell them, only served to underline just how widespread juvenile illiteracy has been allowed to become. <laughs> Now, I can make a remark like that in front of a theatre crowd of people such as yourselves, and, you know, it's received and understood in what I consider to be the correct, sensible manner. Yet, when I made this remark to the youths in the playground, I must admit, they, they took it rather differently. Uh, they looked at me as if I was reading the Spanish shipping forecast to them, <laughs> wearing only nipple tassels <laughs> and a smile. Um, by which I mean they were baffled. They, uh, <laughs> They didn't holler and whoop like the hungry, burlesque crowds with which I am more comfortable. <laughs>